finish him. Dude, I am trying to finish it. Just hang on. Let me finish the drawing. Finish him. Be patient. Hang on. Just wait. It's almost finished. Finish him. Okay, now you're being annoying. What's going on, everybody? Welcome to Drive 2. My name is Ramney, and today we're going to be drawing Scorpion from Mortal Kombat X. Much like Street Fighter, Mortal Kombat was one of those games that I grew up with. I remember as a kid, I would go to the gas station store and I would go straight for the arcade machines where they had Mortal Kombat, and I would join the crowd watching people play Mortal Kombat. Now, the thing with the arcade machines that I used to go to, there were a handful of people from my school who were really good at the game, and they would pretty much take over the machine and everyone would just crowd around watching them kick people's asses. So I hardly played the arcade in that location, but when it came out on Genesis and Super Nintendo, me and my cousins, we were hooked. And what teenage kid would not be hooked with these awesome kung fu moves and ridiculous, ridiculous bloody fatalities, which were so new at the time. It's hard to believe that over 20 years later, we are still playing Mortal Kombat. And so today we're gonna to be focusing on one of the main characters of the storyline. His name is Hanzo Hasashi, and of course he is Scorpion. What you guys need for the tutorial, as usual, is a pencil, an eraser, and any type of white paper, and also a black pen so you can ink your drawings afterwards. I like to use cardstock because it makes it easier for me to erase the page and to ink without bleeding to the other side of the paper. As you're watching this tutorial, remember that you can pause at any time so you can catch up on your drawings. Remember, we all draw at different speeds, so find a pace that works for you and stick to it. Having said all of that, Let's get right to the tutorial. So as you guys will notice, I have my paper laid out in landscape mode. So we are going to go with that. And we're going to draw a circle right in the middle of the page right here. And we're essentially just going to draw Scorpion's head and shoulders. So we're going to start with a circle for the top of the head here. Like we almost usually do. And from there, we're going to draw the chin. And the chin is actually the mask. So you want to round it off a little bit right here. And before we close it off, let's draw a line from the top going down the middle. Because what we're going to do is we're going to draw uh, the chin equally on each side. So each uh, it has to be mirror image of each other. There you go. You want to try to get the same angle on each side here as best as you can. There you go. Let's draw, let's erase the bottom part of that circle and let's draw the top part of that mask. So his mask is gonna probably gonna go about here. So we're going to draw the top half of a triangle like that. And then we're gonna bring it to the sides again like this. Again, you wanna try to make it equal to each other. All right, let's draw the, well, you know what? Let's draw the eye line. And the eye line is gonna go right here. Bridge of the nose. Let's leave it like that for now. And let's get into the details of the mask. So I'm gonna start, okay, here's this point right here. I'm gonna move down and to the left. I'm gonna find a point right there. And I'm going to just draw a curve like that. Two about there. So same thing, find a point right here and a point right around here. Oh, a little lower. Right there. With this I'm going to, it's going to create this little uh, curve that goes narrower as you go down. So you want to do that, just like that. Bring this, going to make this line darker, the one down the middle. Okay, right here, I'm going to draw I'm gonna draw it going up and then going to the right. Same thing here, up and then right. There you go. Now here, just some lines that go like this. It kind of gives them a little smile. From here, I'm going to I'm going to go down to this point and I'm going to bring it up this way. And same thing over here. So go down and then goes up just like that. Now we've got this. 
Let's bring it down a little bit and then it goes back out like that. Let's make a triangle right here. And then let's continue this, but let's draw it lightly. Bring it like that. And what we're going to do is we're going to draw some lines from it going out. So let's draw four lines. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I'm going to darken this one and darken the bottom one. And I'm going to do one more to there. There you go. Now over here we've got, they look like a scorpion fangs, I guess. They kind of look like teeth and it just, it's one and then another one like that. And then one in the back like this. So I'm going to draw two lines coming out, and then they go up like that. All right, now let's make it three-dimensional by creating, uh, just drawing these lines here. That'll give it that, that edge. So it sort of makes it three-dimensional, like it pops out. Just on those. Now let's go back over here, right here. We're going to draw that curve. Same thing here. And there you go. We've uh, kind of got a scorpion's mask. Um, we're gonna we're gonna go into a little bit more detail in a bit, but now we're going to focus on the eyes. Actually, before we get to the eyes, what I want to do is I want to draw the hood. So about this far up the eyes. We'll find a point and then we're going to run it like this and then down draw it lightly for now because you don't want to you know you don't want to darken it too early on because we still have to draw the rest of his face and we want to make sure that everything is in proportion so we're going to have the hood kind of cover the sides of the mask here right there so the mat uh, the hood kind of goes this way a little bit because he's actually turning his head so from here, it goes down like that. And from here, it goes down. And then it goes out like this. Okay, now let's find the top of the head and it's gonna be right here. So above the circle a little bit. We're gonna bring this to the sides right here. Like that. here, just down. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to lightly just erase the inside here so that we have a good idea of what we're working with. Right? If you guys hear my daughter coughing, that's her in the background. I don't know if you can pick up the audio, but I'm in my office and my daughter is actually watching TV out, out in the living room. There you go. So I'm adjusting the size of the head here, just so it doesn't look weird, doesn't look long. And take a step back and see if the shape of Scorpion's head on your drawings are, you know, if they're weird looking, that you might want to adjust. Okay, now I'm going to go over here and I'm going to draw the brows. I'm going to start right there and right here. I'm going to draw some wrinkles and a short little line going across in the middle here. And then I'm going to Create the brow like this. Okay. And then underneath, I'll draw the eyes. And you want to position the eyes so that they are center and not too far apart. So I like to do that lightly by drawing the top curve of the eyes first. And then the bottom of the eyes. So you also want to make sure that you don't want, you want to make them equal to each other. You don't want them far apart and you want them to be the size, 
that they're supposed to be. You don't want them too small. You don't want them too big. So the eyes, you need to be very, very careful and very slow with the eyes. Not just with this scorpion drawing, but with any type of drawing. So um, there really is no way around it than to just keep practicing until you get it right. Because, I mean, it's hard for me to tell you how the eyes go. You know exactly where they go. They go underneath the eyebrow or they go underneath this brow here. But uh, you yourself have to try to figure out how the eyes fit into the face that you've drawn. There you go. I think I got it right. Uh, let's draw some eyebrows. So I'm going to start over here on the brow that we drew initially, and I'm going to draw another line that goes slightly above it. I'm going to shade that in, and that's going to be the eyebrows. So here's the line we drew earlier. I'm going to bring it up. Again, you want to try to keep it the same as on the other side. Okay, let's draw some, um, what do you call them? The bags under the eyes. And just some wrinkles around it. We're not going to draw Scorpion's pupils because he actually doesn't have any. So what we're going to do is we're just going to draw the um, wrinkles around it to give him that mean skull. And I'm going to draw some more lines right here to give it that indication that he's scowling. And I'm going to give, when I ink later on, I'm going to give the top here a little, um, what do you call it, uh, a shadow. So I'm just going to find the right here. I'm going to make the forehead a little smaller, and I'm just going to do that. I'll shade that in later on with my pen. And I'm going to go around the face, and I'll do the whole, th the whole thing this side as well. Okay. So I'm going to shade that in later on, and it'll be the shadow that the um, the hood creates on the face. All right. Now that we've got these sides, it's time to do the netting pattern. And you want to draw some diagonal lines right here. And same thing over here. Don't change direction. They're all going the same way. And then now change direction and draw that diamond net pattern on his face mask there. All right, there you go. Let's bring this one down. And this one sort of goes in more. Now we're gonna find this point right here. It's actually the point that we had when we had that circle to begin with, and we're going to bring it down. And this is just gonna be some seams around his face mask. And we're gonna find a point right here below his chin, or below his, yeah, below his chin here. I'm gonna slowly make my way up like this. And then same thing on the other side. So find a point right here. And we go up to that point. There you go. Over here, some more seams that go to the outside of this mask. So it does that. I'm going to darken the edge of the uh, hood here. There you go. So we've got the hood and we've got the mask and we've got the face. Let's move on to the um, shoulders. We won't do a lot of the shoulders. We're just going to cut it off right here for the sake of keeping this video short. Now, a lot of you guys uh, ask why I don't draw a full body and this is why. Um, it takes a long time. So anyway, I'm going to start over here. See where this mask goes like this or the hood goes like this. Curves that way. I'm going to follow that curve and then I'm going to go out and then it goes into the back of the neck right there. I'm gonna, and this is the collar. So I'm going to draw a line right there and that's one collar and the other side of that collar uh, actually goes down right here and then goes in. All right. Now let's uh, let's draw a curve very very lightly. Let's just draw it going down like this. And from here, yeah, from the hood, I'm gonna draw it like that. And the hood sort of goes along with it as well. So there you go. And then from here, let's draw the shoulder. It goes out like that. And the shoulder goes out over here. And it slopes down, not too steep. Okay. Now, for the neck part, it's actually very dark. And in any of the reference photos, it's not really hard to gauge what his neck looks like. So what I'm going to do is, uh, he's got he's got a collar on. 
So I'm gonna draw the collar one and then another one below it. Same size, two. So those are two collars. What I'm going to do is I'm gonna darken this. So that's all gonna be colored in later on. I'm gonna create that same shadow uh, that the hood makes. It made it on the face and it does make it on the neck as well. All right, now over here, there's like a little strap that uh, that's, that goes along his um, collar. And it goes out, kind of, it does that. And let's just, you know what, for the simplicity, simplicity's sake, let's cut it off right there. And now here, we're going to bring this down like that. We're just all trying to shape where everything goes. There's a lot of lines on Scorpion's uh, shoulders. Okay. And I'm gonna bring this down right there. And I'm gonna draw like my note to down like that. All right. Now, he's got pads. He's got some padding. So let's draw the padding. It starts right here and goes up like that. And this padding actually goes out to the shoulders as well. So we're gonna bring it out like this. Now I'm going to draw that line again. And right here, I'm gonna do the same thing with the padding right, right across from it. it. Goes out like this. And then goes out towards the shoulders, across the shoulders to the shoulder muscle. All right, now we're going to draw straps over top of that padding. Let's see, how are we gonna do this? Let's start over here and we're gonna make our way this way. There you go. And once you get here, you just make a little sharp tip, like an arrow tip at the end of that strap right there. I actually have the action figure to this and I'll have to go get it in order to, <laughs> in order to get a reference. So there's that one strap. I'm going to see this line right here. I'm going to draw a, a strap going like this, right there. So now you know that the strap is not on its, uh, it's, it's laying down and not on its side because of this right here. And then another one up here, but this one is a little bit longer. There you go. Now some more straps. Uh, it's gonna be bigger than these ones that we've drawn. I'm gonna start over here. Gonna go around or round the shoulders like that. And then it goes down to up there. And it's about this thick. And as I go here, I'm going to, um, I'm gonna bring it to the shoulders, just rolling into the shoulders like this. Okay, I bring this up and above the shoulders and then bring it down. So by doing that, you can kind of see that it's it's going from the back over the shoulders. Okay, I do that one more time, about, uh, about this far away. So it's another width. The width of this is right here and then another one. That goes down again, just like that. This one goes up, and then there you go. I'm gonna erase the shoulder line so you guys can see what I'm talking about. But the strap, now we've given the illusion that it goes over the shoulder to the back. Okay, right here we're going to create these points. And these are actually covered in metal, and the metal kind of gives it a heart shape, except the top part is flat. So, like a V, I guess. There we go. All right. Now I'm going to draw the buckles. And the buckle starts right here, that line that we did. One line below it. And then two lines right here. Okay. Now, right here, I'm going to create these shapes. And they're like, um, I don't know how to describe it, it actually. It does that. And then the buckle goes along like this. And it sort of makes these cool looking, shuriken looking um, 
buckles as you guys can see it goes along and then here the same thing i'm going to start right here out and then in like that there you go and then i do the same thing on this side uh, i won't do any narration just watch slowly watch and do it slowly Draw a little hole right here. It's a buckle hole. And then along the edges here, I'm going to double the lines. It gives it a seam. This one goes up to there. This one follows all the way to the edge right there. This one stays up right here. And then this one goes all the way there. All right. There are There's padding underneath that. So I'm going to draw this line coming out and then over the shoulder again. Same thing here, like that. And then finally, from the center here, I'm going to draw a line going this way, parallel to this line. But it goes up and it goes around like that. I'm going to leave it like that. Um, I'm going to draw another one above that. So from here, curves upwards and goes out again. That's just part of the shoulder uh, padding. And then there's a soft padding underneath that. Like that. And then another one underneath. The scorpion has a lot of layers. And then, and then of course, we're going to draw his signature orange, uh, I don't know what you call it. Uh, not orange, his signature yellow uh, uniform costume. It does that down over here. There you go, and this is going to be his arm. I'm not going to be drawing his arm. Maybe I'll just draw a little thing like that for his shoulder, but that's it. Actually, that's too far. I'm going to draw it right there. And his shoulder would go along here, but I'm not going to draw that. You guys can if you want to. Okay. Let's uh, fix this up. Add some seams. this side and try to do the same thing but it's going to be at a different angle so first we're going to draw this strap on this side and basically just go down right here and well I was gonna erase something but I guess I don't have to let's just make it go down like that Now we're going to draw these buckles on this side and the strap first goes down like that to there. There you go. Make a little arrow tip right there. And then the other one goes a little bit lower. All right, let's uh, close this off with an arrow head and then make those heart V ends. And then let's draw the buckles, and the buckles are, well, let's start with that line, line below it, same thing over here. <clears throat> okay, draw a line on the sides, and then this little spike, I don't know how to call it, to be honest with you guys, I'm trying to think of a way, but okay, I'm going to bring this strap a little higher than the shoulder, and then I'm going to bring this up like that. There you go. Same thing on the side, so on the 
sides here. Up and down. There you go. And then I'll bring the strap a little bit. So the strap kind of goes over the shoulder behind the buckle there. Right, and then I'll draw the seams on the straps. I'll draw a little belt hole, strap hole. And then the shoulder padding, it goes from here, goes out like this. So it makes that same lip going up. That's what this is right here that we did initially. So that's what that looks like. And then some padding underneath. And then more padding underneath. And then, <clears throat> excuse me, and then we bring the uh, costume down like that. And there you go. We're almost finished. Just gonna erase, clean up a few things here. All right. Now, right here in between, that's pretty much the only thing that we have left to do. Oh yeah, so these lines as well. Make sure that you mirror the same thing on the other side. This one kind of, you know, I'm gonna draw another, another layer right there. Okay, so now we've got the hood. We've got the straps or the collar that goes around his neck. He's got some straps right here and they're dark colored and there's three of them. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna draw on this side, it's gonna be um, arrow shaped. So that's one and here's two and here's three right there. So they've got these uh, very similar shapes to these. And on this side is it's a strap. So one, two, three, and it kind of goes, um, the middle of the strap kind of goes, well, it goes, it goes that way. So it creates these shapes right here. Now there are rings, it actually ends off right here. And then there's a ring that goes around like that. Imagine a ring going around. It kind of does that. Now I'm going to take those straps and I'm going to draw the seams on them again. Make the rings a little bit bigger, thicker. Rivets on the strap here, or on this, I don't know what you call it. Just rivets right there. I'm going to bring a draw shoulder coming out right here. And I think uh, what's left, I'm going to I'm going to darken these areas with my pen later on, so you guys will see. And that's pretty much it, you guys. That is how you draw Scorpion from Mortal Kombat. And that is all the time that we have today. Thank you for watching all the way to the end of this tutorial. I hope your drawings of Scorpion turned out great. And if you're proud of your drawings, I would love to see them. So go ahead to the Google Plus Draw2 community and post your artwork there. If you guys are curious about the equipment that I use to make these videos, I have a link to all of my things down in the description below. Clicking on those links helps content creators like myself so I can continue making these types of tutorials for you guys for free. Question of the day, who is your favorite Mortal Kombat character? Let me know in the comments below. My favorites have always been the original ninjas, so that's Scorpion and Sub-Zero. I also like Reptile and Noob Saibot. Those guys are my favorites. If this is your first time here, I would love to have you guys subscribe. Here in this channel, I show you how to draw your favorite characters in easy to follow, simple step-by-step -step instructions. So if you like what you see, head on over, click that subscribe button that's just below me right here and if you did enjoy this tutorial it would help me a great deal if you guys like this video commented below or shared this video with your friends in social media and of course speaking of social media you can find me on Facebook Instagram and Google Plus and also on my website drive2.com where you can download a free coloring page of Scorpion so go ahead to drive2.com and download that for free again all of those links are down below finally as always Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more so you can learn to draw too. We'll see you in my next tutorial. That's my daughter. Come here, honey. Daddy's recording right now. Say hi.
Say hi. Oh, now you won't say hi. Okay. Hi. There you go. Mm. Can you go watch some TV? Okay. Okay.